Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick demystification of Azure Information Protection pricing features and licensing. I'll link this page below here, but it basically does a great job of depicting what you get with each part of the plans. And down below here, it shows what part of the office suite either is included here or you can get standalone for the particular subscriptions here. So I guess I'll actually just start down there because that, that seems like a good approach. Azure Information Protection Plan for Office 365 is included with the E3 plans and above. And this is something where you get the RMS templates. Most MSPs are using this for the Office 365 message encryption, not necessarily the labels, which you get as part of these level plans here as well. So that's something that, that you would keep in mind. And a lot of people I know are using this as an MSP. With Azure Information Protection P1, standalone for $2 a user a month, but it's also included in EMS plus E3, and also Microsoft 365 E3 and Microsoft 365 Business, which is recently renamed to Business Premium here. They just haven't changed this yet, but that's the $20 a user a month SKU. This one's $8.75 per user per month. It comes with Azure Active Directory Premium 1, in Intune and this as well too. So it's a pretty good offering for 875. This one is $32 a user a month, but includes some more heightened level features for compliance and security. And then this one here you get is $20 a user a month. So those are all included there. And this is what you get P1. And included here, you have your EMS service or RMS services that you're familiar with, but also you get the labeling capabilities as well too for document tracking and you have the ability to use the AIP scanner which I showed you guys in another video how to set that up to scan on on-prem file repositories like file shares and things like that. With P2 the biggest difference I can say here is you have the ability to automatically apply labels to documents which is really big. It's very helpful in the sense that users don't have to interact with detecting certain sensitive information like credit cards or social security numbers or anything like that. It is something that can auto detect and auto apply labels based off of keywords or these sensitive pieces of information you set as part of the label. So it's good to know all of that before you get into it here, but it's very limited in the sense of the SMB market I'm trying to sell this extra at $5 a user a month and include it in, type of, in these types of plans here. EMS plus E5 isn't widely used in the SMB space and especially not Microsoft 365 E5. This is a $64 a user a month SKU. So it's not really anything that I can see that a lot of people will use. Most likely you would be adding it standalone and bolting it on if they did want that auto labeling to be applied within the organization. That might be a better selling point for customers that are following compliance regulations like HIPAA, FINRA, NIST, especially GDPR that requires data classification to be going on in the documents there. But just know that Azure Information P1 is protection P1 is really what you're going to primarily try to sell or have as part of your existing packages. That's everything I wanted to show for you in this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.